What's going on guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today's a little bit special because yesterday was the third birthday of Satisfactory's release and the community rallied together and did a massive celebration from Satisfactory Olympics, from parkour challenges, to interviews, to birthday messages and to a segment that I hosted which was the Now That Satisfactory which is multiple games uh, where we had contestants like the likes of Lollipop Jai, how to be quiet, Snut was there, obviously the community manager, Hannah, the world developer from CSS, uh, we had Molly, and we also had DJ Lobster. It was a great event, and the whole event was put together by Brain DG, who did a stellar, stellar job. And this video, what you're gonna see today, is me interviewing uh, Tobias, which is a programmer from uh, CSS, and obviously did a lot of work on Satisfactory with, well, what you'll find out is the drones, the snapping update five stuff and uh yeah you'll see me obviously touch my ear a few times because brain who's producing the whole thing from the, the 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 back end of it um he is um talking to me in my ear so you'll see a couple of pauses and all that kind of stuff because he's trying to communicate with me on how long we need to go for and all that kind of stuff but without further ado enjoy the interview and uh yeah put any comments in there and i'll make sure we can pass them on to tobias as well and again uh, enjoy the event. Check the link in the description, by the way. I'm gonna put um, I'll put the link down there so you guys can go and see the whole entire vod if you want to, or you can go and see any specific segment you want. But yeah, without further ado, enjoy the interview, and uh, I'll guess I will see you in a future video. So yeah, keep smiling. I'll see you then. Hello. Hi, chat. Hello. Hello. How you doing? Hello, guten tag, bonjour, hello. Guys, I am here with... A lovely Tobias. I mean, is this side? This side, this side. Lovely Tobias. How you doing, chap? Hello, Tobias. How you doing? I'm doing good. Doing good. I'm doing good. So if you just want to let chat know who you are, what you do, and uh, yeah, all the good stuff. Yeah, so uh, my name is Tobias. Some of you might know me as Lim. Uh, I'm one of the programmers at Coffee Stain, so uh, I've been working on Satisfactory now for two years ish, I believe. Kind two, of listening track of time. You was the baby at one point. I don't think yeah, you yeah. was the baby anymore. <laughs> You're not the baby yeah. anymore. Uh, so, obviously, I've got a few questions for you. And uh, one, some are from the community, some I've added myself. Um, some based on Satisfactory, some based on you as a creator, as a, creator, as a programmer, and a, a well, game technician or a game designer, whatever you want to call it. So the first question is something I think might be interesting is what advice would you give to somebody who wants to get into programming? And what channel did you take to achieve yours? Mm. Uh, just don't. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Don't. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, no, um, I mean, honestly, just uh, there's a lot of resources right now on the internet where you can find like YouTube videos, tutorials. Um, so you can just like look on YouTube. If you specifically want to get into game development, you can try and find some uh, content creator who does like maybe Unity game development or Unreal. Yeah. Um, and that would be a very good way because then you can kind of follow them and see what they do. Yeah, because there's a there's a creator there's a creator that I watch um, who kind of does like he does like a, a, a daily vlog. Um, of his journey, what he does, he wakes up in the morning, all that kind of stuff. And what would you say your daily routine is from as soon as you get up, going to poop, and then, you know, fuck on with your day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean, you know, wake up like everybody else, hopefully. Uh, do a casual 200 push ups. Head to 200? 200? 200, yeah, every day. Gotta get that blood flow going, you know? I do that with my fork. <laughs> uh, yeah, but then I pretty much just head to the office, work on the game for a bit, add some bugs, uh, and then I just go home and chill. Batter some bugs. Yeah, pretty much. So what, what would you say is the worst bug you've had to fix so far? Ooh, that's a good one. We've had a lot of a lot of bugs. As some of the one know. where you just sat down and started pulling your hair out and like I I, I don't even know if I can do this. Okay. Kind of bug. Yeah, I think maybe when we were working up on update five, we had a lot of issues with like 
you know, how the new clearance system was added with like soft clearance and yeah, stuff. Yeah. Uh, I think I remember I had a bunch of issues just trying to add that. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> that would probably be the one I'd have to say. Yeah. Because obviously you're known for what doing. You you did drone stuff, right? I remember seeing a video of you doing some drone stuff. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I worked on the drones a bit, um, the programming side, um, and then of course I did the hover pack as well, and then a little bit on the zip line for update four. So so basically the good stuff. So what does everyone else do? I don't know, man. Ask them. <laughs> <laughs> so what does everyone else do? I don't know what people are doing, dude. Uh, true, 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 true. Um, so, uh, well, so you, you worked on the drones. You've been doing a lot of stuff with snapping as well, right? Correct. With snap points and kind of giving us better functionality of attaching walkways to miners and all this kind of stuff. Um, yeah. So for update five, I pretty much just worked on the build system in general. Um, yeah. And what ended up happening is I was just like playing around with it and like, not like our testing map, and I would just do random shit, and then I would just go, oh, it would be kind of cool if we could do this. We, then... we could snap this here. We could yeah. snap this there. And so I just kind of did that for like a couple of months or something, just yeah. added random stuff. Is there, is there anything you would like to add snapping to is, is, that you would you would like to add it like maybe? to other other uh, machines or all that kind of stuff? Mm, yeah, I mean, it would be kind of nice to, uh, I guess, improve maybe how foundations snap together. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, um, very, what, very similar to um, how they work with uh, walkways, if you hold control and you rotate it. Yeah, yeah, that could yeah. be a cool one, for example. Um, yeah. Or just like, you know, how there's some foundations would have like a diagonal um, side to them. Being yeah. able to snap like a foundation to that diagonal, maybe. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. There's a, there's a few things you could do. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, let's have a look at another question here. So, um, what would you do if you was not a programmer? Uh, and it has to be legal. Be... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, it has to be legal. Oh, it has to be legal. Well, yeah. There goes most of the options. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, I actually don't know. I mean, I'm kind of, kind of a fan of game design as well. Just like, which basically is just like how, how the game should work. Yeah. Just like, what should be in the game essentially, and just like thinking about it a lot. Uh, yeah. But if I, it wasn't like game development, I guess it would be like maybe uh, some kind of acting or. Maybe a chef or something. Acting sure. that could be a good, good role for you to go into. You know. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Have you like possibly trying to take over Tom Holland's like Spider Man and? Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never gonna live this down, am I? No, no. You're never gonna live this down. <laughs> I could be the Spider Man stand-in maybe for the next movie. Yeah, yeah. he could be. He could be his double. You know? Yeah, easy. So um. Uh, I was gonna, I was gonna mention something there, and you distracted me with uh, what's he called? With so, uh, but so you never had any dream job as a kid when you're like five year old, or like mine was a to be a forensic scientist. That's what mine was. Right. I mean, <laughs> when I was really young, I used to say I wanted to be a lawnmower and just like <laughs> literally you know a lawnmower. There's a game called Lawnmower Sim, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Not sorry. sponsored, by the way. Oh yeah, yeah. I think I've seen yeah. that actually. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, so that was like my first day when I was like maybe, you know, a couple years old, I don't know. Um, but I mean, for a really long time, I've just wanted to work in game development, honestly. Working games. Yeah. And then, of yeah. course, I had a little bit of, I guess, inspiration to be an actor at one point. <laughs> yeah. Or a chef yeah. or something. Uh, yeah, mostly game development. Um, yeah, we, yeah we, can do, we can do that, we can do that. Um, but yeah, um, so we've got quite a, a bit of time here, Lim. So we, you know, if we'll, we'll, what we'll do is well, we'll take some questions from chat at some point. Um, but idea. what we're going to do is, uh, what would you say is your greatest achievement in life? Or at CSS. Or at CSS. Or at CSS. You can choose one, or you can do both if you wanted to. Um, yeah, I mean, honestly, I'm not sure. I mean, I guess because I wanted to be a game developer since I was very little, then becoming yeah. a game developer and working at CSS is uh, yeah. a pretty good good candidate, I would say. Um, yeah, let's yeah. just go with that, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I went through, what, school? Because 
there's, obviously, there's lots of different schools. Did you go to like a private school or like a public school and did what you wanted to do? Uh, so I actually went to like a game development, uh, like university kind of. Um, yeah, like uh, uni, college. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. so I met a, a lot of really good friends there, made some connections and whatnot. Um, and then after that, I kind of moved to the city, which is where Coffeestain is as well. But yeah. I didn't actually work at Coffeestain at first. I worked on another studio. Um, and then after a while, I, uh, I had to change jobs because uh, my contract was up. And so That's I applied great. to so you, Did you work on another CSS, you say? No, no, I worked on another studio, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. But it was in the same city as Coffeestain. Oh, all right. Any particular game we know? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, we made some expansions for a game called Titan Quest. Titan Quest? Yeah. Okay. But, okay. Yeah, we didn't make like the base game, but like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so then I applied to Coffee Stain and yeah, I got the job here and stuff. Okay. So you you already was already living there before you joined Coffee Stain then? Yeah, exactly. Okay. And then some, because obviously some people will move over there just to live because and obviously you when you started technically two years ago obviously we had covid so like mm -hmm. how was your experience joining the company in the pandemic yeah that was kind of interesting because uh i pretty much started right at the start when people started working from home instead <laughs> so, like for the first two years i hadn't like seen my colleagues apart from like twice maybe <laughs> yeah uh, for, uh, I mean, also in like online meetings. Literally just over, yeah, face cam and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But otherwise, it was just like working at home. Uh, so yeah, it was it was definitely interesting. But uh, yeah, I mean, we have our new like massive office, which is currently being renovated. As yeah, well. the, the big bank. The big <laughs> bank. Yeah, we literally have like a couple bank vaults in it as well. Yeah, have you, what's what's in the vault? Uh, I'm not want... a particle accelerator. We... <laughs> wouldn't you want to know, huh? <laughs> I want to know because you never know. You might need a second job, and so might I. So. Yeah, and you... the, it look it looks like Lolly uh, is already kind of planning that to rob a bank, apparently. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they so, might rob us. <laughs> might be an inside inside job though. So yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, we, we just kind of use the vaults to lock up Jason's <laughs> note if they misbehave. So. <laughs> um, so look what else I've got here. I've got a couple from the community that uh, it's mainly mostly satisfactory stuff. So. Uh, duh, 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 duh. what is your favorite thing in Satisfactory? What is my favorite thing? One thing could be anything. Could be a belt. Could be an item. Could be a machine. Mm. Obviously not the world. Maybe the factory car. The factory car. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty good one. <laughs> yeah, it gets me a lot. Obviously. I mean, you mentioned the world, which is honestly a really good candidate as well, because like. The world is so beautiful that Hannah and the team made. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've just seen some uh, question in chat as well. I'm skittish. Would you rather fight one bean sized doggo or 100 doggo sized beans? Mm, maybe 100 <laughs> doggo sized beans, I guess. Wait, because that, that, that's what we saw last April, right? Uh, was it last April? April Fool's Day? We had the small beans, large doggos. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think that would be easier, right? Just, like, <laughs> yeah. Kick him around or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like the doggos, as soon as we hit them, like I'm not calling myself out here, but I accidentally hit a doggo, okay, last April, and it kind of just went like a balloon. It just flew away. All right. We all did it. No one, no one likes to admit hitting a doggo, but we've all done it once. Okay. That's true. That's true. <laughs> we, we've all one. done it once. I can see chat just, just going a little bit nuts now, but... Um, let's have a look what else we got here. Oh yeah, that's a good mention. It's not mentioned in the chat. What's that? So be before I got the job at Coffee Stain, I actually ran into Snut when I was playing Rocket League randomly. Yeah. I was just like matchmaking and I joined the same team as Snut and I was like, wait, I recognize that name. So I asked him <laughs> like, hey, do you work at Coffee Stain? He's like, yeah. <laughs> so we started like playing as well. Wait, so or what? When you was what? When you didn't technically know each other? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I just I had applied already. But I didn't yeah. have the job. You just randomly come across him in a Rocket League match. Yeah. So I like to believe I got the job because I carried him in Rocket League. But <laughs> that's just my headcanon story. So, 
Wait, so wait, it's not interview you? I'm guessing, I guess he can't have, right? It would have been, who would who, who did interview you? Is it, is it somebody we know? Uh, I'm Simon? Sure. I know G2 was there. Um, it's like the lead programmer. But yeah. I can't quite remember. Burke as well, probably. Burke? Yeah. The producer. Yeah. Yeah. It was a while ago, so I'm not sure. <laughs> well, we've got 15 minutes until the official birthday. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to... We've got a couple more questions, then we'll start asking chat, and then pass it over to the event team and we can celebrate the uh the birthday of the official launch which i believe was five o'clock if i'm not mistaken um um okay we're sorry i've got voices in my ear <laughs> brain what do you want <laughs> what do you want like He's, he's crying in my ear, chap. I'm just saying. I'm <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. Cool. 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 Right. <laughs> right. So, um, what? Uh, right. So here's another one. What games inspired you? Um, to be get well, get into programming. What game was it? You was like, how did they do this? Is that one thing that process you go in? Like, do you look at a game and go, how have they done this and how can I implement this? And have you looked at a game, got inspiration from a game and implemented it into Satisfactory? Um, I'm not sure, actually. Um, I know we get, I mean, of course, we get inspired by other, yeah. Yeah. other games all the time. Uh, but I'm not sure we have any specific thing where it's like where i did it <laughs> but I, I heard some stories at least in the office yeah like for example i mean i think satisfactory in general was just like people playing a bunch of factory games you know like factorio yeah uh, and so they got inspired by that but i mean another good one is i believe the the sliding feature in the game was because one of our producers was playing a bunch of apex oh god <laughs> and so he really wanted to add the slide to the game so that happened uh, just yeah. going in there just thinking he's playing apex now yeah because exactly. he needs to practice his slides that's what it is mm -hmm. yeah but he works really well and i think intentionally initially was just like used to get under conveyor belts and whatnot yeah because like a lot of, i think like a lot of people like when i I do get a few questions like, how do you like jump so far? And a lot of people don't realize is the slide and then jump and you can get a lot further than what you can if you normally jump. Yeah. Um, and a lot of, I do get like a lot of questions like, why do you always jumping and bouncing like all the time? It's cause you know, yeah, it just goes like, faster. Yeah, 100%. Um, right, let's actually ask some of the chat, some questions. So chat, if you've got any questions, uh, anything related to CSS, anything for uh, Tobias, uh, anything programming, anything like that, just put it in chat and uh, try and get as many out as possible. No Spider-Man questions. <laughs> no Spider-Man <laughs> questions. Um, what is your first programming language, says Panacotta, who's a, a modder of the uh, community? Uh, yeah, I think actually, might not believe it, but I think my first programming language was... C++, which is kind of hardcore. <laughs> uh, straight, straight into C++. Yeah, yeah, because I found some tutorial on YouTube or something when I was like 12, and I uh, I followed along with that, but it was just like super basic uh, console terminal stuff, so yeah, I just kind of made games in the terminal to start out with. Yeah, yeah. Um, Mr. Tall Eclipse says, when will you be in the next Marvel film <laughs> with the Eternals? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> we've, we've already seen the poster, you know? We've you, You've seen it, and I've seen it. I yeah, we've all seen it. it. Yeah, it was, uh, yeah. Um, somebody's put, who's your favorite satisfactory content creator? You, Everyone has a secret one. You just don't like to admit it because you don't want to hurt feelings. But trust me, all the satisfactory <laughs> content creators can take it. Who would it be? Who do you I mean, lurk or watch the most? I see what you're getting at here, huh? Mm -hmm. See what, you, what answer you're looking for, huh? Mm -hmm. Just well, spill the beans, Lim! Spill the beans! Yeah, I mean, I've been watching bits a lot. Uh, no, so... it can't be me. It can't be me, right? Because can't be you. It can't be me. It can't be me. Someone else. No. 
Okay, okay. Uh, does it have to be a streamer? It could be a content creator. It could be a YouTuber. It doesn't have to be a streamer. It could be a YouTuber, I think. It might not even be satisfactory related. Like, who oh. do you watch? Do you like watching PewDiePie? I don't know. You know? Right, 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 right. No, that's, a, that's a pretty good question. Mm. <laughs> no pressure. I'd probably maybe go for um, like one of the one of the OTK people. I don't know if you guys know about. OTK. Oh yeah, OTK. Yeah. Yeah. One yeah. two kings. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I, maybe... I, I'm knowledge in my stream of us. Yeah, exactly. It, so it depends. Like... It depends on who you go in with uh, out of them. Yeah, I mean, I'd say Miskip probably Miskip. right now. Yeah. Just, just enjoy the just chattings and just chilling out and vibing, game yeah. shows, events and stuff. It's just chill videos to watch. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, what other questions have we got here? Um, Pioneer Top Hat when? <laughs> Pioneer Top Hat? Yeah, Top Hat when. Uh, right now. Louder right now. Somebody put when he said it's satisfactory. What do you mean Satisfactory 2 coming out? God, I know how Snut and Jace feel now on a Tuesday. Yeah, I imagine. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> um, all right, here's a good one from Panacoya. Any favorite mod? Any favorite mod? Ooh. Yeah. I mean, Panacoya has made some cool mods. Uh, I really like the... Um, oh, what's it called? It's the one where you can make like a computer that Panacoya made. Oh, the, the uh, Fix It Networks. Fix It Networks, that's the one. Yeah, yeah exactly. I, I was just blown away when I saw that. Uh, it's really impressive. So yeah. I'd probably go for that one. Yeah. Uh, ask him when Update 6 is... It, update 6 is cancelled, chap. What do you mean? Cancelled. Um, what's your favourite area in the world? So by or more, even just a location inside the map. That's finished. Probably, probably in <laughs> Northern Forest right now, I'd say. Northern Forest? Yeah, yeah. After the recent update, just like... Because I didn't see it before uh, internally. So I actually got to see it at the same time as you guys. Yeah. And just like yeah. seeing seeing during the night how it's like all these glowing parts of the trees and whatnot. Yeah, you know, it is like really... Because like, it looks like so much has been added. Like j even just the lighting. Because I, I believe nothing happened to the lighting, right? Or is it just a... Change. I can't remember. This got mentioned at one point. I think it was around after update five was released. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah, because it looked like it. Like there was a lot of breakdowns and stuff. And um, what else we got here? Uh, Northern Forest is Uru. True. True. Um, RGB Forest. God damn it. How are the the optimizations coming along? Do you work on optimizing again? I mean, sometimes we kind of optimize as we go, um, but mostly that's probably done by Ben, I guess. He's managing yeah. all like the the profiling, so he's testing like the performance essentially. Uh, yeah. And then if we make some stupid stuff, he basically comes and shouts at us, so we have to fix it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, yeah, we just we just do it as we go. Yeah. We talked about this the other day, but um, those that don't know, um, what about? As we know, the, the engine has a limit for items, right? For buildables. Um, what has, to your knowledge, the biggest number that impacts that? Um, I mean, I'd probably say all the all the factory machines in general. Um, the factory machines? Yeah, they take up quite a bit for the object count. Because like one factory building is not just made of one object internally. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It can be like up to 10 or even more sometimes. Uh, yeah. And so when people build massive bases, like some people do. Uh, <laughs> Can't help or... it. Go big or go home. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I'm not going to mention any names. We have, yeah. we have a few. Uh, yeah. But yeah, it just kind of explodes after a while. Yeah. Yeah. Um, some... Costa says, will, will you implement faster trains, obviously? How, how, would you, how would you go about faster trains? Why would you need faster trains? Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> if you need a faster train, just put, you know, ballot, just put more um, engines on the front to keep the keep optimal speed going up hills. One to four ratio, chap. You should know this. One locomotive to four freight cars. You should know this. Make it optimal. That's how it goes. <laughs> Why would you need a faster train? Um, okay, I don't... 
No, because uh, it is we're like six minutes away from five o'clock, uh, and then we're obviously going to pass it on. Let's see if there's any questions that I've got here because there's a few here. Um, What's your least favorite part in Satisfactory? Least favorite part. Least mm. favorite. Playing it, I would say. Playing what? Playing it. <laughs> Playing it. Yeah. yeah, I suppose. I suppose. Yeah. Uh, is that is that just because obviously you're working on it all the time and just? Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's that's part of it. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, because like we played a bunch of work as well. I mean, when we're testing features, so it's like. Yeah. It just kind of kills the fun when you do actually play it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Play it. Um, Prarium's got a pretty decent question. Do you have any tips on the best to get into the gaming industry and what you need for it? I know you mentioned earlier that obviously checking out YouTube stuff. Um, but how would you, what kind of base knowledge would you need to get into, into school or good, good things to, have down before you kind of do any of that stuff right i mean i think it's it's pretty important to just um get your feet out there just um yeah. show what you can do um and of course it kind of depends on what discipline you work in i mean for for art for example you might not have uh you might be stuck with kind of a single art style for example while yeah uh, certain studios want something else and it's kind of trickier that way um yeah. but for programming, I guess, just try and get good at what you do. Try to always improve. Yeah. Uh, and of course, yeah, you, you kind of want to have some kind of portfolio piece as well. Uh, so just so like some kind of build your portfolio up, kind of. And... Yeah, exactly. And then yeah. I think I think a lot of it is practical. Yeah. When you when you're actually applying, like as long as you show that you you can do the job, and you have passion for the game or for the game development in general then it's gonna be fine okay okay um let's have a look here um serious question anybody from coffee stain going to gdc game dev conference conference no clue i have no, no idea clue. maybe maybe snook minor maybe huh? Might, yeah yeah if you could replace Snut and Jace as community managers. Who would you replace them with? Internally? Or yes, like internally. From... Yeah, in internally. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Simon, for sure. You, you put pick. Simon? You put Simon in there? Yep, definitely. Okay. Yeah, and just, just who, Simon who on his own. Just, 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 yeah, Simon. just Simon. That's all we need. Really. <laughs> Maybe we should get that for one stream. That one stream this year, yeah. we'll just get Simon to do it. Yeah. Or get maybe even note. Simon AI, you know, robot Simon. Who knows? Um, okay, but what we're going to do, we've got like two minutes left. So we're going to actually um, wrap this up because um, it is near enough time to celebrate the birthday. Um, thank you so much, Tobias. And, Thanks for having uh, me. Chat, you know what to do. Um, chat helps a lot, you know. And... Uh, Hopefully you enjoyed the interview and learned some stuff and had some awesome questions. So we're going to pass it back to the event team. And as always, chat, keep smiling and I'll see you soon. Bye.